Hey folks, uh, this lesson is uh, problem solving with time, rate, distance. So uh, there's our common core strand and then our essential question is uh, what happens when you multiply or divide by uh, a linear equation by a common factor. So that's what we're going to do in this part right here. This second part that says uh, what relationship do parallel and perpendicular lines have. That'll be in the second. That'll be the day after this, okay? So this is uh, called problem solving with time, rate, distance problems. So let's go ahead and graph uh, the following. You remember how to graph y equals two-thirds x, okay? I didn't make any scales right here. I'll do that on the next click right here. If there's no number here, it's like plus zero. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's there's my plus zero. We graph. This is called the y-intercept, which cross, crosses this y-axis right here. So I'm going to put the zero right there. That's this zero right here. Then I'm going to pick this slope and use this slope, rise over run. So it's going to be up two to the right three. So from this point, if I go up two, there's two, and then to the right three, one, two, three, and put another point right there. Okay, so rise over run. So up two to the right three, and then just connect those points right there, and then don't forget to write the equation next to the line. Okay, if you're in my class, I'd like you to do that. Okay, all right, easy enough. How about this one? Y equals negative 50x plus 30. Okay, again, I did not put the scales here. So, you know, if you have graph paper in the class, you've got to choose on what your scale is going to be, okay? So look at these big old numbers right here. I am going to make my y-axis go by tens. So this will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then going down negative 10, negative 20, negative 30, and so on. And then I'm going to let the x-axis just go over and let them be 1. So here's 1, here's 2, here's 3. So then I can graph here at 30, 0. So 10, 20, 30. I'm going to put a point right there, and I'll put my scales in there for us, okay? So there's my scale. Notice I, and I, I just to save some spacing right there, I was going to get a little crowded right here. So I just, I went by twos. Here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four. Here's negative one, here's negative two, negative three, negative four. Okay, let's go ahead and graph the plus 30 right here. So I'll put a dot right there. Okay, and then now we're going to use the slope. It's negative 50, which is, means go down 50 and then to the right one. So go down 50. So here's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then to the right one right there, okay? So there it is right there, and then go ahead and connect those points up. You don't have to have the same scale on the x-axis and the y-axis. It just has to be the same all the way on the y-axis and all the way on the x-axis, okay? Don't forget to write the equation next to the line right there, okay? Nice and easy. Okay, let's graph this equation using the t-chart right here. So 2y equals 6x minus 2. And they, uh, I'm giving us uh, 0, 1, and 2 to put in for our x values right there. So that's going to be the x. I'm going to put 0 right here next to the 6x. Then I'll put 1, then I'll put 2 right here. So let's put 0 first, okay? So when I put 0 first, um, 6 times 0 is 0, so I have 2y equals 0 minus 2, or 2y equals negative 2, or y equals negative 1. So I graphed 0, negative 1. That's this point right here. Okay, now I'm going to get erase all of this right here and plug in x equals 1 and put x equals 1 right there. So you'll see it all disappear. There it is right there, and I did it all on one flip chart right here. So 6 times 1 is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. So I have 2y equals 4, so y must be 2. So I graphed 1, 2. So over 1, up 2. Okay? And then let's uh, let's go ahead and do it one more time. I'm going to erase all of this, except I'm going to put in x equals 2 right here. So it's going to be 6 times 2. Okay, 6 times 2 minus 2 is 12 minus 2, which is 10. And then 2 goes into 10 5 times. So we're going to graph 2, 5. So you can see I have that over there, over 2, up 5. Let's go ahead and connect those guys, write the equation next to the line right there. All right, let's try that again with this one right here y equals 3x minus 1. Okay, I'm going to do this in one flip chart. I put in x equals, uh, when I do x equals 0, I get 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. And I put, it, put in 1 right here. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. So I graphed 1, 2. That's this blue guy. When I put in x equals 2, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. So I graphed 2, 5. Okay, and then so there's that graph right there. Okay, nice and easy. I got the, line, the equation next to the line right there. 
All right, so section D says, now look at both of the graphs in sections B and C, and what do you notice about, whoops, I forgot to put the, the T on there, what do you notice about, let me do that right here, uh, about their graphs, and what do you notice about their equations? Okay, that won't be there on the next one right there. I'll go ahead and put that, because I know some of you guys are OCD, some of my students are. I sometimes am too. Okay, here's uh, the graph of B, here's the graph of C. Okay, let's answer the first one. What do we notice about their graphs? Well, these are the same graphs. Can you see that they're the same graphs right there? So that's what I'm going to put there for that guy right there. They're the same graphs. Okay, so um, let me get that T in there. Okay, and then number two says, what do you notice about their equations? Well, here's the equation for B, 2Y equals 6X minus 2. Here's C, Y equals 3X minus 1. Okay, or 1Y equals 3X minus 1. Look at these equations. How do they relate, you guys? Can you see that equation 2 is just 2 times equation 1? If I multiply this by 2, this by 2, this by 2, it's this right here. And when you just multiply by the same number all the way through, you get the same graph right there. That's what this lesson's about right there. So equation B is twice equation C. Okay, let me get this last little T in there. To, uh, otherwise, my students will bug me about that. Okay, all right, so that's uh, so they're the same graph, you guys, and all we did is multiply this, uh, this equation times 2, and it gave us this equation right here. So when you multiply by a common multiple, it doesn't change your equation. Let's try this. Let's graph the equation 1 third x plus 2y equals 1. Now I'm choosing x values since I'm taking a third of them. I stayed safe, and I, I did 0, but I also did 3, and you can do 6, and 9 things that are easy to take a third of. So I didn't do like 0, 1, and 2 because when I take a third of 1, I get a fraction. When I take a third of 2, I get a fraction. So I chose x values uh, that are safe to take a third of just to make life easier, okay? So I chose 0, 3, and negative 3. Okay, let's plug in 0 right here. When I do 1 third of 0, 1 third of 0 is just 0. So I'm left at 2y equals 1. Divide both sides by 2, I get y equals a half. So I graph 0, 1 half, or 0 0.5. That's this guy right there. Okay, let's plug in x equals 3 right here. Okay, 1 third of 3 is 1. So 1 plus 2y, now I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides, and then I get 2y equals 0, or y equals 0. So I graphed over 3, up 0. So here I am, over 3, up 0. Let's plug in negative 3, okay? When I plug in negative 3, okay, then 1 third of negative 3, what is that, you guys? That's negative 1. And now I'm going to go plus 1, plus 1. When I add 1 to both sides, that's going to get me 2 over there. So 2y equals 2, so y equals negative 1. So to the left, 3, up 1. So to the left, 3, up 1. See how that's on a nice straight line? If it wasn't a straight line, then we probably made an error, and I'd make errors all the time. So there's that equation right there. Okay, so here's section F. Now, multiply that equation by uh, the same equation. It was in section E. This is the exact same equation. We're going to multiply it by 3. We're going to rewrite the equation and graph. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to take that and multiply it by 3. Okay, remember the distributive property. Go ahead and distribute that red 3 through. So everything gets a red 3. And then 3 times 1 third is just 1x, so that's going to be x. 3 times 2y is 6y, and then equals 3 over there, okay? So when I do that, there's that right there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and graph it, and I'm going to do the same x values right here, because it's going to give us the same equation. Okay, so when I plug in x equals 0, 0 plus 6y, and so I get 6y equals 3, or, or uh, 6 goes into 3, a half. So I get, I'm going to graph uh, 0, comma, 0.5. That's what that is right there. Okay, when I put in 3 right here, I'm going to put in 3 right here. 3 equals uh, x right there, so 3 plus 6y equals 3. And then when you subtract 3, we get 0. So I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, graph 3, 0. So over 3, up 0. Can you see it being the same equation? Okay, I'm going to plug in negative 3. When I plug in negative 3, I'm going to add 3 to both sides. So 3 plus 3 equals 6, so I get 6y equals 6, or y equals 1. Okay, so uh, 6y equals 6, or, or uh, y equals 1. Oops, I didn't write that down there. y equals 1. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, y equals 1. Okay, so I graphed negative 3 
1, which is over to the left 3 and up 1. So to the left 3 and up 1. So there it is right there, and it's the same line right there. So this next one is going to say, what did you notice about the graphs in E and F? Okay, here's E and here's F. Look, they're the same graph. Here's E, the 1 third plus X plus 2Y equals 1, and here's F x plus 6y equals 3, all we did is we multiplied it by 3 right there and we still had the same graph. So they're the same graph except that f is 3 times e. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So when you multiply by a, a, a linear equation by the same constant number, you're going to end up getting the same graph. All right, you guys, take care.